everybody. This is Brie with Diamond Head TV. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you another before and after. We are introducing our new malachite stone. I don't know if you can see how amazing those are. If you know anything about malachite, um, they are ultra luxurious to look at. The swirls and the patterns and the colors, I mean, it's just majestic, I think. So I'm super excited to show you this before and after. We're gonna line the chair with the diamond heads in the 13 millimeter in the silver setting to go along with our fun little Christmas motif we've got back here. But keep in mind, you know, Malachite is, doesn't know any seasons, right? It transcends time. It's, what's the word, timeless? <laughs> um, but I, you know, it, it's, I can imagine it um, in a gentleman's library, you know, those warm, sophisticated jewel tones, um, or in a lady's boudoir, in her closet, you know, those emerald rich, luxurious uh, stones. malachite stones on our emerald green velvet chair. As you can see, my little kitties have been attracted to it, and if you've seen any of my social media, you'll know that they get way more engagements than diamond heads. So I just want to show you how to use the hammer and template tools to make the installation process really easy. As you can see, the strike tool has a magnetic and concave end that holds the nail in place. The template tool spaces out the nail heads perfectly while removing the guesswork. This creates a beautiful lineup. With that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and hammer in the remainder of these nails. Since the strike tool has a magnetic end that holds the nail in place as you're hammering it in, tip it away from the nail to remove it. That way, if you have soft wood, it won't pull out again. Now, I'm always going to reiterate, please make sure that there's wood behind the surface of your project. If you're creating your own before and after with a store-bought piece of furniture, please check to make sure that there's wood where you would like to place your diamond heads. I'm hammering these nails down about three quarters of the way. Make sure you don't hammer them all the way to the template, and I'll show you why in just a second. At the same time, try and keep your strike tool completely vertical while hammering in the nail. And yes, I am going to get a manicure soon. I'm so sorry for exposing my dry, broken winter fingernails on this video. <laughs> Gotta love perfection. <laughs> so now that all of the nails are in place, we're going to remove the template and see which nails need to be hammered in a bit more to align with the others. I do have a couple that are a bit higher than the others, so I'll tap those down because we want them all to be at the same height. Keep in mind that after we put the stones on, we will take another look at the heights and make sure that they are all even. Believe it or not, the velvet on this chair is a true emerald green. The lighting makes it look a bit teal. Lighting in every environment is always a challenge, isn't it? So I'm going to be installing these gorgeous stones on the chair. While I'm doing so, here are some things that might be interesting to learn about malachite. The intense, passionate swirls of green in genuine malachite mark it as unique among the gemstones. Held sacred since ancient times, the distinctive patterning is visually remarkable and the verdant hue is bold. This is a powerful stone that attack, attracts admiration and attention, and it definitely has mine. And I definitely need to take the tape roller to this piece of furniture after I finish it and then cover it with plastic. Other unique features of this stone is that malachite is known for its healing and protective energies uses guardian stone that protects against negative energy sources and in feng shui malachite is deeply connected to nature and environment okay so i'm gonna 
view the stones from the side to make sure that they are all the same height. Our installation looks pretty straight. So now it's time to take a look at our exciting after. Hi everybody, we've made it to the after. Thank you for staying with me. I hope that you enjoyed that mini tutorial. I hope that you found it educational and namely inspiring. So here we have our finished boudoir chair. She's all dressed up with her malachite stones. <laughs> I think it looks really, really pretty. I think that the, the nails just enhance the curvature of the furniture. I think that it finishes the look. I love that the nail heads, the malachite stones, actually go all the way around the chair. You'll see that as I pan out and, and um, take the camera all the way around. So I thought it turned out really good. I thought it was really pretty. I hope you like it. And if you have anything that you would like me to cover, if you have one of your favorite stones, shoot me a message, I will be happy. I love doing before and afters and um, show, showing you guys the transition. It's really, really fun. So I'm happy to do a video for you if you'd like, or if you have any other questions as relates to size or stone, uh, faceted, smooth, you know, let me know, I'm happy to help you guys. This chair will be offered on our website at diamondheadupholsterytack.com under the furniture section. So I hope you guys like and subscribe to my videos. I'd love to bring you more fresh content and I'd like to let you know just as soon as that comes out. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.